Hey everybody, how we doing today? So in today's video, I'm going to show you how to make the Big Daddy Cuda Tube or any double hook rig that you want to make. Here's my Big Daddy Cuda Tube. It runs right around 24 inches, 2 feet from swivel to end of tube there and uh, utilizes a dual treble hook system. The equipment we'll be using, I've got a knife, got wire cutters, scissors, crimpers, double barrel crimps. I'm going to be using seven strand coated wire, Surflon. Uh, I use a couple of quarter ounce egg sinkers. These are my two treble hooks here and uh, also some uh, soapy water. The tube we're going to use is the classic 7 16 inch, but you can also do this with the baby Cuda tube, the quarter inch. Uh, you could purchase the tubes at uh, allaboutthebait.com or kudatube.com. To understand our build, it's basically a single strand of wire. Uh, you have one end connected to the middle treble. It runs up the neck to the swivel, connected there with a barrel swivel, and then in the same wire runs back down the length of the tube to the second treble. So it's all interconnected. First step is to prep our tube. So just cut the length that you want your tube. Doesn't really make a difference. Just figure out what length you want it. Um, we're going to cut and trim the tail. And the way I do that is I basically pinch the, uh, the tube there with the scissors. So it collapses down and then allows me to basically trim out the tail to however long of a tail that I want to have. Okay, so we've got our tail. Next, we're going to calculate where we want to place our front treble hook. Once we've got an idea where that's going to be, we're just going to cut a small slit that's going to allow us to insert our uh, wire. Okay, got our little hole there. Next, we're going to mount one of our treble hooks to the end of our wire here. I've got two barrel crimps on there. Uh, since my uh, Cuda tubes are double crimped on the hooks, place one and the second one there. Run our first crimp. There we go, we've got our back treble crimped to the end of the wire there. Next, we need to calculate how long we want to make our wire. It doesn't need to be exact because we're going to trim it down. Uh, but basically, we've got the rear hook placed basically where it's going to end up. Run our wire, build enough slack where the swivel is going to be attached, and then run it back to roughly where we're going to have our middle hook and then the room for the crimp. So we know roughly we're going to need right about there and we can go ahead and just cut that free. Next we're going to insert the tag end of the wire into the hole that we cut for the middle hook and we're going to run that wire up towards the front neck of the tube there and then we could pull the slack and insert the wire and the crimps into the hole and our front hook is now ready to go. Next we're going to add one of our barrel crimps and the swivel and then we're going to go ahead and form the loop for the swivel but we're not going to crimp it down. We're just going to have the wire run through the crimp and then just kind of rough fit it where we want it but like I said we're not going to crimp it down yet. Then we're going to do is add our egg sinkers. And then we're going to run this tag end through the full length of the tube until it comes out of the back side. And now we've got it run all the way through there. At this point, I'm going to go ahead and insert the egg sinkers into the tube just to get them out of the way. I'm going to use our soapy water as a lubricant. Just give it a little spray there in the tube and they just push right in there. And then you could use your fingertips to just squeeze it in and then do the second one there. 
Next, we're gonna rough fit our rear treble to see where we want it placed. Also, to find out how much length of bite off protection that we want. So we can kind of fit it there. The treble is gonna butt up against the uh, cut portion of the tail. So roughly right about there. So we know where we need to place the, uh, the crimp for the rear treble. And then we'll use the front crimp to take out the slack on both the front wire and the back end of the wire. So they're, they're running perpendicular and there's no overlap. And then once that's correct, we could do the final crimp on the front. All right, so we've got the double crimp on the back treble. So we could run that through, take out the slack. And that's gonna butt right up against there. Now that we have the rear treble and the mid treble locked down, we could work on just making sure that all the slack is taken out of both of the wires so that they sit flat and neither one of them are binding. And then we could run our front swivel up to take that slack out. And then that keeps these two perfectly balanced so there's no slack in that line. Now we just need to crimp that down. All right, our double hook rig CUDA tube is complete. Uh, you'll find if you leave that last crimp there and use it as an adjustment to take out any slack on either side of the wire, it makes things a lot cleaner. You can see how tight both wires are running all the way down and these both hooks are perfectly placed. Well, there you go. That's how to do the double hook rig CUDA tube. So if you like big baits for big fish, this is how you make a nice 24 inch lure or bigger or smaller. Uh, just depends on how you want to make it since it's fully customizable. Uh, just figure out where you want that second hook and there you go. Uh, the second hook rig basically will improve your hookup ratio, especially on the kudas. There are just a a slash and grabber uh, so they can hit in the back where the hook is they can go for the head the midsection you never know and having that front hook there will definitely increase your odds of hooking them up so anyways hopefully you found that helpful ready to build your own check out my website www.allaboutthebait.com or www.cudatube.com and you can pick up your uh, five different colors of CUDA tube and uh, start building your own. So anyways, thanks for watching and I will see you next video. Bye.